Hey guys, uh, it's me again, Rose from the Philippines. Uh, welcome to my channel. It is called Gamchillera, a uh, show and tell of crochet and craft related items. So, welcome. Thank you for my new subbies and also for my old one. So, I postponed my video for two days. So, it's now Monday. I usually make it during Saturday. But, what have I been up to these past, past days? So, my cousin, Ate Jing Jing, saw the Timmy Time dog that I reposted and I made it several years ago. And when she saw it, she is asking me how much it is. But when her daughter, Janina, saw it, saw that she is requesting for one, uh, she requested for a stitch ami instead. So I have started uh, the stitch ami gurumi this past day. This is how I got far. I got so far. So, what I did with this is I increased 18 times for the head. I started it and I anticipated the number of rounds that I needed to make. So, it's really good to have some notes from before for this project. So, you wouldn't be able to go back and forth with it. And so, I have made the head first. And then afterwards, the bottom part in light blue. And then the bottom part, I also started. But I continued on within, with it after making the head. And this shade of yarn is not available in 50 grams. So I was able to purchase uh, 10 pieces of this color in 15 grams. So this is how I got so far. And the next step this is making the limbs the hands and the feet along with some cloth and the, the eyes for this I am going to make it uh, I'm going to use a felt cloth just like the ones that I use for my other cousin stitch and he has he also has a very long ears so I'm going to do that next I was saying to my ate that I can make it within one week but one week has passed and I just made the body and the head uh, just now. So the next thing will be the limbs and I'm thinking that it will take me another week to finish this. But I was doing other stuff too so it's okay. So this is the first work in progress that I have on hand. And I'm really wanting to make some character amigurumis on the side so i started a minion one using the yarn that i have recently purchased from love nuts so this is the head of stewart the minion and since i also have notes for this i was able to know how many rounds i needed to make before uh, i make or i attach it to the bottom part which is the jumper part so, I'm going to make a minion one on the side, some type of project. And then I also started um, an amigurumi again with one of the Jane Cotton. This is it. So, I'm thinking of taking a picture of this yarn first before I continue on. And then after finishing the amigurumi, I will post a before and after on Instagram. So this is how I got so far with this uh, Migurumi. I'm thinking of redoing some of Miss uh, Sharon Ayala's uh, Bigfoot Migurumi. From her is where I learned how to make Migurumi and the principles of it. So I'm pretty thankful for her tutorial. And I will put a link to her channel on the description box below. So I also have one finished item which is this fingerless gloves that I made out of the other chain cotton. So this is how it is when worn. And for this one I made about 40 casts on for this. And now I'm finished with it. And I don't know if I'm going to give it to Ate or I will set this set it aside first this is how it came off 
So, since I have leftovers from it, as you know, I'm making some granny squares. So, I was able to make two granny squares from the leftover from that yarn and a coaster that I'm collecting to be given to my aunt who helps me with my medicine. So, those are the uh, knitting project and some type projects that I have been making. And these past days, I was able to put up the two last um, character purse on the series. But I'm thinking it will not be the last since someone has requested for a Hello Kitty one and a Smiley one. And I'm gonna learn how to do that first, working on the features of that character purse. So this past week, I was able to put up the dog character purse is the ninth one on the series and then I was also able to put up the the Raymond one so now I have three of this one is my sample and what happened was I was able to make the features and the other part but when I was embroidering the nose I wasn't really pleased with it because this is how it turned out and this is the one that I used for the tutorial on embroidering the the mouth and the whiskers because it is neater than this one and I like how this came off so that is what I used for it so if you would like to uh, make some of this I will put some links on the description box if you want to try it out using some scrap yarns uh, the next thing that I'm gonna teach you is how to put how to sew the lining uh, in the sewing machine and I will try to show how to sew it by hand because someone has been asking about that and how I put the lining along with the zipper and after that I am planning to make a tutorial beadwise again and up next is the bear so i'm still going to um, research on that i was able to write down how to make the body and the head part but i'm going to learn how to show you guys better how to make the limbs like the hands and the feet so since i have been making the tutorial for the character purses i have accumulated uh, the base parts in these colors So I have a white one that I'm thinking I can use for the Hello Kitty. I have some orange ones that I can turn to foxes This one can be a pig The other ones maybe I can turn into a dog a penguin since the color is uh, Okay for it and then I have a red one for Elmo and this gray one for the Totoro. So I'm going to work on the features on that, on that whenever I have um, some free time. Because I still have to finish the Stitch Amigurumi that is an order from my cousin. I haven't had an order in a while so I was able to make stuff that I like making. But I'm pretty thankful to have an order now. So, I can have some extra money from it. So, I have purchased yarn from the online shopping app that I uploaded or downloaded. And I'm going to show you what I have purchased. I have ordered this last May 31. And it came within 5 days. So, I'm pretty shocked with it because the first order that I had or I made from overseas or from China came within 12 days. So it, it is pretty fast now since they have a different courier. So those are the bamboo yarns. Thinking that this is bamboo because it said there that it is a bamboo yarn. This is the bamboo yarn that I have purchased. It even has a picture on the label. But it is in Chinese, so I wouldn't be able to uh, read it. And 
it says here that it is 70% of something and 30% of another one. So I'm thinking that it is 70% 70, 70 uh, bamboo. When I open the parcel, it really smells nice. Kind of reminds me of tea or leaves. It doesn't have the smell anymore. But when I open the parcel, it really smells so good. And it's really soft. It is a fingering weight yarn. And it is smaller compared to the Jane Cotton yarn, as you can see. But they are both 50 grams each. And I'm thinking that this is a fingering weight yarn, since it is that fine. And as I am seeing it and looking at it, kind of reminds me of a DMC thread only in one ball. And it's really, really soft and light also have the shine to it so I have purchased uh, eight pieces of it in the colors that I chose I have here this color and then a pink one and then a blue a light blue one a green and then I have some this yellow this bright yellow here this pusha pink one this type of blue these colors go well together and this type of blue or gray so i really enjoyed uh buying all of those yarns and maybe trying them out so i have already tried out one of them and i have made a motif out of it and this is how it turned out it is using this pusha pink one here so this is a motif from the magazine that i have for a while now the japanese magazine and i am hoping to make this type of vest so it has different colors to it but on the back it has the motifs in four that is positioned that way so i'm hoping to make this this vest since the things that I am thinking of making out of those are garments. So, I have been uh, re researching for some tops that are just simple ones that I can make out of them. Because they are not that warm to the touch. And as you know, it is very hot here in the Philippines. So, it's really nice to have some lacy type uh, blouses that is airy and it is not that warm in the touch so i'm going to push that and maybe make other tops too with all of the with also with the yarn that i bought it is the Asian cotton yarn so i think those are it for my project i have shown you all of it and i have written here that I had my semi-annual counseling or psychotherapy last Thursday. I was able to go to the hospital on my own. And it's really nice to look up for that or looking for that. Looking. <laughs> looking out for that because whenever that happens, I go on my own and I get to go to the mall just beside my hospital and eat out. So I was able to take some videos there. But just short ones that I have put on my other channel if you want to check it out. I have also merged with that videos. All of the videos I accumulated with Daniel. We have made this contraption that is some type of marble run. I let him use the beads that I have and play with it. So we have made some tube-like things that that is some type of marble run. So it is on my other channel if you want to check it out. It is in Taglish though. It is in Tagalog in English. Because sometimes I burst some <laughs> Tagalog there. So maybe you will understand it. But I have some Filipino subscribers. So I'm thinking that they would understand that. But it has some English too. So it's okay if you can watch it. So 
I have been looking for some mouse for a while, a mouse that you use for a computer. When I was at SM Center Point, I found some but it is pricey, a little bit pricey for me so I'm glad to have found the mouse that I bought before but it is a little bit sticky. I was finding one because I wanted to play against Plants vs Zombies that is installed on my laptop. So I was able to play with that recently and I look out for that also because it is a game that I have uh, enjoyed for a while and now I can rekindle um, playing with it. I wasn't able to play games on my cell phone now because when I install a game it tends to close on its own and it's not working so I decided not to play with it and uninstall it so I think those are most of it I'm catching up with the podcasters that I have subscribed to and I have binge watched some of random ram Randy's ramblings uh, so I'm checking out other podcasters that Miss Terry has listed on her description box. So I'm trying that out and also catching up with the with my regulars. So hi to all of you. Um, Miss Esme has put up one and also Miss uh, Juliet from Pink Butterfly has been uploading too. So I'm enjoying watching you guys. So please do put up videos if you can so we are experiencing what I call the last kicks of summer Pag Asa is saying that we're gonna experience the last kicks of the sunny days and up next will be the rainy ones so we're quite apprehensive about that whenever it gets hot we we are quite apprehensive about our dam because of the low level in that dam but whenever it rains and whenever the storm comes we are fearful that it will overflow so that is the issue here in the Philippines and the show that we have been watching on the TV Plus because this is my first dive it has ended now and I'm pretty satisfied with how it ended because they end, the three couples ended up together. They have different stories to tell so it's pretty enjoyable to watch that. We were able to watch it last Friday three times. <laughs> and then yesterday we also saw the replay. So it's really nice to repeat it because of all of the stories within it and the circumstances or scenes. So I think those are most of it. All of the shout outs that I have said here, I will put on the description box below. And I have told you, I, I wasn't able to show you my other yarn purchases. I was able to purchase some love nuts yarn that I needed for the grab gun, the Pikachu one. So I, I was able to buy some yellow yarns. Yellow yarns tend to be useful for me because I use it for the Minion, for the Amigurumis, and for the other ones. And I can also use this for the Smiley character purse. So, whenever I go to Tabora to buy some yarn, I jot down all of the colors that I wanted to purchase. So, I have purchased this. The green one will be for Zim, the Invader Zim Grafkan. And I have an orange one too, that is also on my list. And I have seen you guys uh, going to clearance sales on Hobby Lobby and other uh, craft related stores. So, pretty amazing to uh, watch all of the stuff that you have purchased. So, I have also been enjoying that. And then I have purchased two white ones and a black one. And I have this lighter shade of orange here. So since I really needed the shade of blue for stitch and I was a wasn't able to pick up with the 50 gram ball, I just decided to make or purchase one whole pack of these 15 gram balls. So this 15 gram balls is approximately 
not eaten here but it is 35 meters and I don't know how many grams it is it's not said here but it is, this is the yarn that I purchased in so that I will be able to make the stitch so it has gone long now and I'm pretty pleased with my recording this is on, only the first one <laughs> so we are going to experience some water shortage in the afternoon and also tomorrow so we have been um, putting some water in our containers I think that's it it's pretty dim now and mama went to the market to buy some food for us that she will cook later and I guess that's it for me I'm gonna catch up with you guys soon I hope that you have a fun day crafting and just having some family bonding time with your family. Uh, I think that's it from me. Bye for now.